Hey there, it's Coach Tyler here from WorkoutWarriors.com, and today I wanna to show you the best core exercise for people with back pain. Now this isn't a very complicated core exercise because the trick about back pain is that most likely you're experiencing some sort of nerve issue, which means you need to strengthen the muscles between your spine. So your spine is a series of stacked bones, and in between them is all the nerves, and in between each series of stacked bones, the nerves are coming out in between the discs, right? And there's little tiny muscles that connect all these stacked bones, and if you learn how to fire those properly, it will strengthen your entire spine and increase your posture, even your height, by, by firing those muscles, okay? They're called the multifidus, okay? And so this exercise is focused on stabilizing your core and lengthening your spine, which gives more space in between all of your discs for those nerves to do their work, which is fire the muscles, make sure all your organs are functioning properly, and so on and so forth, okay? So again, super simple exercise, very easy to do, but you can notice very profound effects if you take your time Follow the cues I'm gonna show you and practice this on a frequent basis. This isn't like another core exercise where you're trying to do, you know, three, three workouts per week. This is something you can do every day, in bed, uh, before bed, on the ground while you're watching TV. So practice it frequently and it'll really help in the long run, okay? So here's what you're gonna do. We're gonna lie down on our back. You're gonna bring your heels up underneath your butt like this. And then what you're gonna do is walk your shoulder blades back down towards your glutes and there's gonna create a little bit of an arch in your lower back, okay? From there, I want you to press your lower back into the ground. You see that subtle movement? I'll move my hand and we can do the pelvis right here. You're gonna take your, your hips and you're gonna press your lower back into the ground like that. And you're gonna maintain that position the entire time. So as we do this exercise, if you feel this start to arch like this, then stop and then re reset yourself and press the lower back into the ground, okay? From there, you're gonna do a little breathing exercise called the elevator. So I want you to take your two fingers and I want you to put them between the top of your hip bone and your belly button. So you're gonna put one right there and one right there and you're gonna press those two fingers out. You see how if I, if I press those out, it's pushing this way? So two things, lower back into the ground, press the fingers out. Now from there, all you're gonna try to do is maintain this, lift your legs off the ground and hold and really, really hold tight, press the lower back in the ground, lift those fingers, and then when you get tired, drop your heels back to the ground. Now, some other things to think about while you're doing this is don't scrunch your neck up like this because then you're gonna really be firing your neck muscles, which is counterintuitive to you lengthening your spine. So instead, while you're laying here, while you're pushing your lower back in the ground, while you're lifting your legs, and while you're pushing your stomach out against your fingers, you wanna think about tall to the top of your head. Lengthen your spine as much as humanly possible. So let's go through those cues one more time, right? Shoulder blades down, press the lower back into the ground, find your belly, press your belly out, lift your legs, hold tall to the top of your head. Don't scrunch up like this, tall, tall, tall. And if at any point you feel your lower back start to come up, stop the exercise, rest, reset and practice again. So there's no definitive amount of time that you should be holding this exercise. Everybody's gonna be different. Hold it as long as you can with perfect form. That is like underlined, highlighted with perfect form, which means remember, lower back pushing the ground, fingers pushed out, tall through the top of your head, long, long, long spine the entire time, okay? So practice exercise, it's gonna be the best exercise that you ever do for reducing back pain. And what you'll notice if you're doing it right is you'll start shaking a little bit. You'll hold the position and all of a sudden you'll be like, ugh, 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 and your body will tweak a little bit. Those are your actual inner unit core muscles, the muscles deep inside your core turning on, strengthening, and remembering what they're supposed to do, which is stabilize your trunk, which is what the core muscles are supposed to do. Now, if you like this exercise and you want more like it, then you should definitely take our free core type quiz. It'll ask you your age, your gender, your posture, your current body shape, and your injury history, and it'll tell you the best and worst core exercises for your individual body type. So you can take that quiz for free by clicking the link above. Otherwise, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Share it with your friends, especially if they have back pain. Let me know in the comments below how it felt or if you have any questions whatsoever, and I'll see you later in our next video.